first thing we're going to do is where we've got these red squares in each of the corners, we're going to drill circular holes which are going to be our cores. Following that we're going to join the dots with uh, where the yellow line is with a track saw, each of the, uh, the linear cuts there and then following that we use a, a concrete chainsaw to plunge through and make the breakthrough cuts. So that cutting work is going to take roughly two weeks from when we make our first core uh, to the final plunge cut. So we've got a monolith containment bag, which is a thick armoured bag which we use to contain uh, the radiological inventory in the compartment and also keep the argon over the inventory and keep any oxygen from going in. Once that monolith is pulled back into the bag, uh, we then close the silo doors down and then that contains all the argon into the facility and then that allows us to back down the uh, monolith containment bag to remove any of the argon and then we can take the bag off and you're left with a sealed door on the silo. So it's contractor-led operation. They've done this uh, five times already at the site, so uh, we did a number of trials that sort of increased in complexity as we went and then we ended up with a full integrated works test uh, where the guys were fully suited in BA equipment, it was integrated with the door um, and everything's gone absolutely perfectly each time. Uh, this is an integrated team with uh, Sellafield, Cavendish Nuclear, Bechtel and we've got Babcock Marine Technology to manufacture the doors and the rigs. So this is something that UK PLC can be proud of with the precision uh, engineering that we've got on show here.